like you, retiring early and having financial independence from a 9-to-5 has been a dream of mine for a really long time. You want the flexible lifestyle. You don't want to be tied down to a specific company or job. You may want to try other business opportunities, and having financial independence from these and retiring early can grant you these luxuries. Now, the common advice to do this is penny pinch, save money, and invest it and watch your money grow. And when you do this, you get overly focused on the investing piece. You get focused on investing. How do I beat the stock market? How do I get better gains so I can gain financial independence faster? But in this video, I'm going to show you why this type of mindset, overly focusing on the investing piece, is the wrong approach and will lead you to having a bigger headache in the long run than anticipated. So if you want to retire early or have financial independence, maybe both, make sure you watch this whole video as usual. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor knowledge. So let's go over an example. Maybe you are like me and would like to have financial independence in about 15 years or so. I'm about to turn 29 years old. So if I could do this by like 45 ish, that'd be really great. And I'd be very pleased with that. And I'm going to share the calculators I use in the description so you can do it for your own situation using these tools. But in order to have financial independence within 15 years, two things really need to happen. I need to make a lot of money and I need to invest this money and or I need to beat the average stock market returns if I have less money. So let's run a simulation. Let's say a million dollars is my goal with a normal 4% rule that'll give me 40K per year to live on. What do I have to do to accumulate a million dollars within 15 years if I was starting from zero? Now the simplest way and the typical way for the people of FIRE is to invest it in the stock market. This typically gives you the S&P 500, it gives you a 10% non-inflation adjusted return on average. But with this 10%, guess how much you need to invest per month in the stock market for over 15 years if you want a million dollars? A thousand per month? Not even close. 2,000 per month? A little closer. If you want to retire in 15 years, assuming an average 10% gain per year, you need to donate $2,500 monthly to an S&P 500 fund to have a little over a million dollars in 15 years. You need $450,000 worth of capital to do this within 15 years. Now that for sure is a lot of money for most people. I'm assuming so, definitely for me. So we often think, what if instead of needing 30 grand a year to put towards the stock market for 15 years, what if I just simply beat the stock market? It can't be that hard, right? How hard can beating a 10% return be with my portfolio? It'd probably be much harder to make all that extra cash I need. Not only that, but how much do we actually have to beat it by to simulate the same returns? So let's assume you don't have 2,500 per month to put into the stock market. What if you have about half of that? 1,250 per month might be reasonable for some of you. So instead of 30 grand per year, you invest 15 grand. In order to make a million dollars with 15 years of investing with $1,250 invested per month, you will need an annual return of 17% according to this calculator. 17%. Not only do you have to beat the stock market, which is already incredibly difficult, even just as normal average return, you have to beat the stock market by 7% consistently consistently remember that piece every single year and i am assuming even one thousand two hundred fifty dollars per month is a stretch for most of you let's say you can only donate to your ira which is 7k now in 2024 that's about 583 dollars per month if that was your only contribution no 401 no hsa no nothing else you would need a 24 percent annual gain to have a million dollars in 15 years you would have to more than double the average stock market returns for 15 years consistently which is nuts but let's focus on the person who can donate $1,250 per month to the stock market. What do we think is more probable for this individual if they wanted to retire early? We know you need $2,500 per month to end up with a million dollars in 15 years with a 10% return on average. But what is more probable? Being able to make $1,250 more per month, meaning you can put in $2,500 per month, or beating the stock market by 7% consistently year over year. And I need you to really think about this. If you think you can beat all the hedge funds, if you feel you can beat all the supercomputers, the algorithmic meat grinders that is the stock market that is trading, I say good luck because many hedge funds can't with all their power and all their algorithms and all their knowledge can beat the stock market consistently. And you, someone who is probably watching this taking a dump, thinks you can beat the stock market, thinks you can beat them. But if you can and you have consistently, I commend you. I'm really, truly impressed. But even if you can and you do consistently, you know this wasn't an easy path. You know this took you many years with a lot of effort and studying. It's not like you just did it in one year. It took a lot of time. So the question is, does it make sense for you to focus on the 99% chance of success of increasing your income, changing jobs, getting to a certification, whatever, 
or consistently beating the stock market, which is 1% of people, if that. And keep in mind, you're not even trying to beat the market by like just a little. You need to beat the market by 7% on average. But there's one little thing I didn't mention. Taxes. Remember, you can only donate 7 k to your IRA. That means a lot of your trading money will be taxed. Making that 7% extra gain is now much more difficult because anything outside of that IRA is going to be taxed with short terms capital gain tax unless you're holding these for over a year. I'm pulling up a spreadsheet I made a while ago to calculate how taxes really screw people that trade short term. I have the video right here and then you can download the spreadsheet there as well. In order to get a 17% gain with my current tax obligations, I have a 4.5% state tax for myself and I'm assuming most people fall within this 22% tax bracket. That means 26.5% of my short term capital gains are taxed when it's not in a tax advantage account. That's one fourth of my gains are gone that I have to pay back out of my non-tax advantage account. So even if I got a 17% gain, it's not gonna be 17% because one quarter of that is gone. So how much do I actually need to meet this 17% gain? When I type this in all in the calculator, I would need about a 23% gain considering my current tax obligations just to meet the 17% goal to meet my million dollar goal in 15 years. It just keeps getting higher and higher. And this was with 1,250 per month to allocate. Not only is about half of that not going to be tax advantage of that money, now I need over a 23% gain when accounting for taxes with the other side of the money, over doubling the average return of the stock market, which is just good luck, good luck. So with all of these factors, what is easier? Changing a job, getting a certification, getting a higher paying degree, these options, or trying to over double the stock market gains when taxes are included. Think about that. So if you want to retire early, you know what you need to do. Buy out of the money calls on Tesla, of course. If you don't know why you should be pursuing financial independence, check out this video right here. Peace.